It's a town proud of its past and its architecture. Here, 200-year-old buildings live on. Delta's grist mill, built in 1810, showcases the region's once booming industrial heritage. It's a reminder of how stone and mortar can become a reverent tribute to a community's history and the spirit of its people. Not surprising then to find Greg Robinson here. Passionate about art, design, and architecture, Greg bought the former general store in town as a place to work while fulfilling a vision. Uh, last year, the area was designated as a, uh, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And uh, UNESCO, of course, is about uh, arts and culture as well, and I felt that uh, it was a good place to be, and it, uh, so I'm here committed to, uh, to work on UNESCO's vision of uh, developing it into an arts and cultural destination. Greg's work is inspired by the past, but not the designs dotting the landscape in the Rideau Lakes region. His imaginings are fueled by the Art Nouveau and arts and crafts movement of the last century. It's both head-turning and breathtaking, transporting those who see it to another time and place. It's been a lot of different evolutions. I have gone through different periods of style, and since I've moved into this building, I've gotten more and more inspired to, to work on my Art Nouveau uh, series. And uh, the reason I'm so excited and passionate about Art Nouveau is that it, it, it's a time in history where uh, art and architecture was one, so a stained glass window wasn't just put into a square frame and that was, that was it. It was actually designed as part of the whole environment of the architecture. I think in the early days I was always frustrated with the, the frames that were available, so I started buying antique doors and restoring them and putting stained glass in. And then I went through a period of doing reproduction Victorian doors and putting my stained glass into that. And then I got kind of tired of, the, of uh, doing re reproductions and started coming up with my own style. Now the, my Art Nouveau series is, is inspired by Art Nouveau, but I, I claim it as being my own, my own design. What makes Greg's creations interesting are the basic and inexpensive materials used to build them. A common and simple construction product, medium density fiberboard, is used in countless projects. For the most part, it's kind of an undiscovered uh, miracle uh, uh, material to work with. With the stained glass, I've, you know, I've explored uh, uh, different materials for the frames, and that's where the MDF got, uh, got started. And what I love about that is you're, sh you're cutting out a, a sheet of material and you don't have to think about doing the joinery that you would do with regular material. Plus you can do much more fluid and, and curving lines. Greg has used MDF to fashion everything from door frames and window frames to hand mirrors and harvest tables. He's designed and constructed bars and countertops, bathroom vanities, and business signs. Much of it can be reproduced with a computer program and high-tech machinery. Well, I've actually been doing it for a while. Uh, the window in the, in the, in the front showcase there is, uh, is made completely uh, designed on the Corel Draw and exported to a CNC routing machine, which all those pieces are cut out, so all these different layers are, are exactly the same shape and uh, they fit into one another uh, precision. So the piece that holds in the glass, for instance, just slides into the piece, the frame around it, just the friction fit. It's beautiful uh, to work with. And how about a fireplace made out of foam? Greg believes the possibilities are endless. This uh, is designed uh, as, a, as more of a prototype or a mock-up just to see what, uh, what's possible with, with the doing, working the shapes. Uh, if it were to be a, a real fireplace, uh, I would uh, design it in such a way that the, uh, that the firebox was t made to code and then I would clad the, the, uh, the fireplace uh, around it, put the foam around it and sculpt it from there. But it's an amazing material to work with. It is. It's beautiful to work with, isn't it? it and you just see the, uh, how easy it is to shape and, uh, and get down to the finish uh, very quickly. Inspired by the flowing works of architects like Antonio Gaudi of Spain, Greg strives to build not just single pieces, 
but elements that will make up entire rooms, even buildings. You said you, you envision seeing whole buildings made of this? Not to be negative about architecture, because I love architecture, but the, uh, I'm a bit tired of the, uh, of the linear form, and it's, it's, I think it's time to give, uh, give us a chance to get outside of the box, as they say, everybody keeps talking about. <laughs> so a, a world where, where you see more shapely designs, rounded corners, smoother edges. Right. And that all can be done uh, with technology. The, uh, with 3D modeling, you can actually sculpt an entire building and, and put it together like Lego blocks. When I, uh, I've been designing this whole series, I'm, I'm looking at it as an environment, and it's uh, people come in and they say, oh, there's Mr. Gowdy, you know, they call me Mr. Gowdy, and so I'm inspired by that uh, period, but yet uh, I'm cr creating a complete environment so that the clients that I'm looking for are, are someone that wants want me to do a complete room minimum, and then and not that I won't, wouldn't take a smaller project, but that would be the ideal project that, that uh, you can create the whole environment. The, the vision I have for, for this uh, vignette here is, is that it could be designed into a, a sort of a, a cafe, a, a Nart Nouveau cafe, a, possibly a, a chocolate cafe or a wine bar or a coffee shop. Uh, and also, I can well imagine that, uh, that television and film producers would be interested in vignettes like this for, uh, for backdrops for different types of shoots, music videos, and that sort of thing. Greg has collaborated on many projects that are showcased in Studio 55. The combined talents of artists can lead to fascinating and inspiring outcomes. Greg's hopeful that the 30-year retrospective of his work amassed in this gallery will attract other creative people to this community. There is actually is an Art Nouveau Renaissance happening and you're, I'm seeing it around uh, here and there and when I meet an artist that, uh, that, that has the same sort of sympathy for design that I have, I, I try to uh, kidnap them and bring them down to Del Delta and, and uh, see what we can concoct together and it's, it's happened a few times, it's been fun. And Greg remains open of course to using his art to make a mark on other parts of the world, kilometers away from this small Rideau Lakes community in, say, Hollywood? You never know what the future is going to bring and uh, someone could walk in tomorrow and say, hey, I, I want you to do a movie set in LA and come on down, I, I guess I'd jump on a flight and be there in a heartbeat. His heart, after all, has made Greg the architect of his future. And any chance to design your own life truly is a dream job. I certainly uh, uh, love what I do. I mean, it, it, that I think is pretty evident it, it, when you see the, see the work. Uh, it, uh, it would just be wonderful if this little village, it's, it's just, it is calling for uh, for uh, others to come and set up here and uh, once you get a critical mass and it'll, it'll become uh, uh, you know, another Merrickville. My vision or dream of, of this village is, is that it become a, uh, a place to come and learn and, and, and experiment and, and uh, execute artwork. I, I think it's going to come.